Next, we have two chapter presidents from SEIU Local 10 to 1, our professional chapter and also our general chapter. We have Des Patton and John Arantes. Good afternoon. I hope you're staying cool. One of the biggest concerns we have in our contract is safety. When I first started at BART, we had a very safe workplace, a very safe working environment. In the last few years, the rules have changed and it's become unsafe. So one of the things that we wanted to get this time is some safety rules. So we talked to uh, BART management about that. They came back and didn't want to talk about it. They said we shouldn't be talking about safety in bargaining. So that's totally untrue. Put the mic really close to your so, mouth. So we appreciate all of the help that uh, we have been receiving from different uh, people, members of uh, the assembly. I'd like to particularly call out some that have uh, been supporting us. Rob Bonta, Nancy Skinner, Bill Quirk, and uh, Ellen Corbett, Bill Ting. These have all stepped forward and they're supporting uh, us at BART and our uh, labor negotiations. I'd like to uh, now introduce uh, you to John Arantes, the BART chapter president. Hi, everybody. I am so proud to see all of you brothers and sisters of SEIU and APU, of course, SEIU BART chapter, City of Oakland. It is great that we stand united once again and tell the employers enough is enough. We will not put up with it anymore. In 2009, BART came to its workers and asked them for $100 in sacrifices, supposedly because they were broke. We gave it to them. We care about the system. We care about the family, our patrons. And what happens within a year, they start showing up with $40 million surpluses. Did they come back to us and say, hey, we made a mistake. Here's some of that money back for you to take care of your family, to keep up with COLA, inflation? No, they did not. So now that we have for a new contract, they're coming back to us again and saying, sorry, we are broke once again. It just happens to be in the same year that your contract is up. We know they have about $150 million surplus. So what they're gonna be doing next year, after we settle the contract, they're gonna show up with $150 million surplus. And we're gonna get all upset about it. But you know something? If we're not willing to stand up, it is our fault that they do this to us. That they keep carrying everything in our backs, the workers and their families. We carry board, carries 400,000 people a day. 96% on time, 85% availability. I ask you, what else can we do? Isn't that enough? Must we give up what we earn? Must we put our members, our workers in danger? Since 2009, the district has killed two, th uh, two workers at BART because they keep cutting corners in safety. So they can have their own time and availability percentage high up there so they all look good. So we gotta stand up, and that's what we have done in this contract negotiations. We have told them, safety is important. And all we want is a fair contract that keeps, keeps up with the cost of living. And we ain't gonna put up it no more. You must talk about safety. You must keep our workers safety. So I ask you, are you willing to fight? Yeah! Are you willing to stand up together? Yeah! All right, let's do it. <laughs>